I don't feel like I can have kids. And natural gas did that, and coal did that, and oil did that. And now we're grappling with these questions. If I were to be pregnant in 2030, would I be able to safely carry a pregnancy to term? And if it wasn't a miscarriage, would they be safe to live in a world where there's climate catastrophe? When I first started questioning what it meant to have a child in an increasingly dire climate crisis, I felt very deviant for even asking the question. Every single young person who I've interviewed has said, I think about this all the time, and I've never had this conversation out loud. At a certain moment, it just took off. Emma Lim is starting a campaign and pledge to not have children until leaders take climate change seriously. We're sharing this message that should be shared by our political leaders and isn't, and it's exhausting. If I didn't have a kid, I could say, I will change my life to show how serious this is. Like, it's the house is on fire. People's distress and anxiety is going way up. It can be paralyzing, but it also can be the catalyzer. I am fighting for my future. It's 30 years since I gave that speech, and it hasn't really changed how I feel about the power of those words. It's just deepened it. My biggest fear is that we will come to a moment where I won't know if I can keep her safe. And in that place, I know why people don't want to bring precious life into this world. If I don't have a future, I'm not going to have children. And without children, there is no future.